Maid Mint slash not Pomo shows off her butt to everybody on Twitter. We have Illyra who has not had a very good day when her live stream and she's going to Billy Billy. Idol Corporation is having their ES as an Espanol uh, organization being popping up and so much more on this VTuber news segment. Mint's reference sheet by Ichi Ichiki Maya. I have a reference sheet. Ichiki Maya helped bring my life to life from my ugly doodles. And now you can see all my little details thanks to her beautiful reference sheet design. There's also official design in the Wisps uh, and the work in progress, I guess. Uh, please look respectfully. Of course, we're going to look respectfully. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. I mean, uh, the respectfully part is because she had, she's showing her booty. Okay, that's that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. But look, her little... um. Dang, actually, that drawing looks cu cute as heck. That drawing absolutely looks cute as heck. Holy crap. Um, The wisps and everything. And the one on the left looks cute as heck. And the wisp itself looks cute as heck. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's look at it again. The left looks cute. The right looks better, of course, because it's, it's done with more time and, and everything. So, but I, I can't even draw like this. I, I would love to be able to draw like this. I can't even draw like this. Here we go. Let's see what the people had to say. No one has anything to say. Let me refresh because sometimes people have something to say after. Nope, no one has anything to say. All I have to say is <clears throat> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just a little bit of mint in your life. A little bit of mint in your life. Here's uh, what people are saying here. A cup to B cup to M cup. Even I don't know the size anymore. Butt freckles. She has, wait, she has a butt freckle? Oh God, someone showed a butt freckle. Doodle mint, my beloved. No matter how many times I see it, the costume design is lovely. Taskaru, so cute. You're so cute, you're so cute. Hold up, it's a reference to that. Oh, it's a reference to that one. Okay. The skirt actually only covering the front line. That's 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 the reference to that one. Hilarious. Three moles. Can't believe Maya removed your matching moles. Uh, I like your moles. Thanks for the reference sheet. The reference sheet helps a lot. It absolutely helps a lot. When you want to actually do art of it, when you actually want to do anything of it, that reference sheet helps a lot. That's why I have my reference sheet. Um, to make sure that uh, people have that. You know, the ability to do any kind of art if they want to. Idol Corp, the lovely, lovely Idol Corp, who's actually doing a pretty good job recently, is now putting out Idol ES. Pero esperad, Astra. El pasado, el futuro, todo está abrazado por su existencia. It's basically the past, the future. Everything is embraced by her existence. Idol ES. The future queen of... The, the future queen of darkness waits for you. Yeah, basically. The flame of her chains... The flame of her chains conquers your heart this is the third one and the power of her magic will make you bounce with emotion basically she's ready to come to planet earth these are the five that are going to come up here these are the five that are popping up it's like me, me mojo de ansiedad. basically people are being anxious they're coming this image reminds me of somebody people having good Good vibes and good things like they're, they're basically hyperventilating because now they are, are having idle ES. Let's see this one right here. It says, um, I'm without glasses and I thought things in her head are, <laughs> they thought they were crab, crab legs. They thought they were like crab pincers on her head, but no. And then here's the one of, of the chains. This people are loving this one because you know, they're going to have ears and all that kind of stuff. Taking a look at this. They're looking, they're peeking, they're looking and it's going to happen. They're like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Like Flanders screaming, it's going to happen. Another looks like a bunny, maybe, possibly. <laughs> God's strongest warrior, me fighting his toughest battle, all these MFing rabbits. Another rabbit, Pion Pion, Rosa, Vamos, uh, I want to see all these things here. Um, a feline, it looks like a cat, possibly. Necesito, basically, you need to be awake. Uh, something tells me it's going to be interesting. Fan arts, what emotions, lovely design. Yeah, the design looks very nice. And it's intricate. So they're doing all... Like, Idol has been having a lot of wins. And if Idol ES is doing going to be doing the same thing that Idol EN does and Idol JP does, they're going to have lots of wins. Lots of wins. Basically, their preparations are almost done. You know, marking the Idol ES stuff. Um, yeah, they're they're pushing this Idol ES. It's finally going to happen. Their actual things haven't been set in stone yet, as far as I know. But they are going to be coming out with their ES Spanish base now, which is fun. Because that is one thing that hasn't been in the forefront very much. There are some Spanish-based uh, organizations out there, but they're not very big. Idol is a pretty big one. I mean, at least in the EN sphere. And to be doing something in the Spanish sphere is makes a lot of people happy. Because there are a lot of Spanish-speaking countries out there. Now, here's the next one. This one says, I feel bad for Riku. He wanted an open market for EN audience. He created one. Actually, Hololive was the first one to do to kind of court the EN market with Kiryu Koko. And then they created the EN uh, space, pretty much, which Niji Sanji took full advantage of, of course. But if it wasn't for Kiryu Koko and Hololive showing that, yes, the Kagai Nikis are actually going to be showing a lot of love 
I think uh, the large corporations would not have embraced the in market the way that they did. Gave chances to many people who would never have made it bigger anywhere else that is not hollow caliber uh, and gave them pretty much, gives them pretty much support, advertisements to help their major career. But some of those livers had re had been blank like Zion and break rules that even kids can understand and restrain themselves from committing it. We all know how noisy Selene can get with demanding projects. That's, that's what these people say. Um, to Nidhi Santi's management, calm down, Missy, let the management sort this out first in a slow and relaxed manner. So then was uh, always pushing projects and keep miscalculating. Her projects are not very profitable and brings more losses than gains. Uh, she even had the audacity to ask for quiet graduation despite being contracted for at least two more years. So then was looking just the way out once she got the clout she needed from Riku. I think that's a lie. But I w when she was getting all the, um, the nastiness, I think that's when she wanted to get out. When she was getting the the uh, harassment, that type of stuff, I think that's when she was getting out. Like Mika and Mrs. Reincarnations, effing ungrateful, livers always want more than what they are worth, supposedly. And again, what are these people saying? Uh, they say, I appreciate how there's zero consistency with the NDF's arguments. Graduated livers make no mention or collaboration with Doki. Clearly, that means something good it, and good for them or not. Uh, graduated livers will make abundantly clear how awful Nidhi Sanji is. Traitors, how effing dare they? Exactly. It's, it's one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't moments. Um... The livers themselves are damned if they do, and they're absolutely damned if they don't do anything. Uh, of course, Sayu and Doki being terminated and not shutting up after Niji's libel against them makes Niji look bad. Meanwhile, Matara, Kuro, Mi Michi, Mint, and Quinn graduating and then reincarnating shortly after. Like four months, Matara and Mint uh, took three each, Kuro a month, Quinn was like a week. Um, Niji, they speak ill of Niji in, in vague terms like Hollywood. Uh, it was like a dream turned into a nightmare. Cardboard wings. The entire segment of Michi's first lore video with it's a scam. Up to the non-flashback stare upon finding the nail. And the way they act towards both YouTube play buttons, Montara's joy, Kuro's yippee, and saying he always wanted to get one. Michi listing it as a goal. And helpful managers. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. All those sentiments. Really what they tell you is that Niji Sanji is not a great place. Um, it's understandable that in the, any corporation there's going to be some sort of bureaucracy. But you know you've done something wrong when every single talent that has a chance to say something openly against you does every single former talent that leaves either on their own by graduating or is graduated by you in one way shape or form sees it negative and that says a lot about the organization it says a lot about you as a group it says just a lot about Nidhi Sanji now, this is something interesting uh for Niji ID bros people who still want to see where some Niji ID people are local dragon decided to leash herself from PNG shackle uh, Tenjin, Aelin, and Mochi, which I'm guessing is Michi Mochi V, probably. Special thanks to them. And uh, she is, I think I'm in love again. Shannon, message from Mochi. Yep, it's talking about Michi Mochi V. Uh, meanwhile, certain new zombie girls getting her deserved hype as ID bros can see the world finally healing after ID apocalypse. This is Shannon debuting her live 2D model. She drew herself, so she drew it herself. She's known before as a local Tobru security after which she got fired now she sends friends can create a healthy small fan base mostly in id sphere the x id making cover of aku uh tl i'm fired is peak really generally think uh the only competent nidhi sanji management is the only indonesian side um one thing is that she outright uh said no when someone asked her about gfe contents meaning that she's serious about building a healthy fan base um she's siska leontine the list is handy if you want to know pl reincarnations for that i assume shannon is a member of nidhi sanji so um i believe i had gotten the right one when i looked at it originally uh but siska leontine let's look at the actual uh list here of um let's see if i can find her old one. no since she was graduated i don't think i'm gonna be able to find the old one anymore let's see this is her. She was at 127k. She uh, doesn't have any more videos anymore, of course, because of the fact she is, you know, a former talent from Nidhi Sanji ID. This was who she was, and this is who she is uh, now. She is this person. They're going to be doing great. Of course, when you're in their chat, when you're in their stream, do not go and, you know, be like, hey, Siska, or, you know, miss you, or anything like that just be like going specifically for the actual person go be like hey shannon love you that type of stuff you can do that but don't mention their old uh people if you uh want to be respectful if you want to be respectful don't mention their old self because their old self is gone there is hope for michi x shannon collab they might collab they might collab they might not collab we don't know but the fact is niji uh, niji id people are healing niji id people are finding that they can even do things 
in um in the uh, independent space and do well which i'm very happy for i'm always happy when people can improve and i'm always happy when people can have positive changes in their life Elira made a debut on billy billy apparently because that is the safe space that they go to when they don't we aren't they aren't doing so well in uh Nidhi sanji regular on youtube so translation Nidhi sanji and virtual liver Lyra pandora has joined billy billy yoroshiko negashimasu and that's the billy billy uh thing is source well that sure screams confidence in the youtube platform where she built up her fan base she knew it was the only way to gain revenue considering the latest stream she had is very low even with the enter rate how low is it about a thousand ccv if uh, she's going to be pulling a Vox, not going to lie. After knowing Hololive incident, this is a risky maneuver. CN's value and culture are way too disconnected from where she came from. I know, right? China fandom is toxic, even when it goes to political. Gundam Seed director getting canceled recently because he mentioned about Taiwan's earthquakes. You know you might lose your career there if you're not being sensitive to suit their tastes. Yeah, China does have that. I literally heard about a chef getting canceled because his friend's rice is not Chinese enough. What the hell does that even mean? It's not because it's not Chinese enough. Since Mao's son allegedly got himself killed for making fried rice, posting anything related to fried rice around the, that time in October, November is taboo. I guess it's Mao Zedong who, who passed away because of rice, I guess. Uh, it was considered political. Chairman Mao's son was cooking rice during the Korean War. American pilots saw the smoke, dropped the bomb, and everybody took cover properly. No one died except the chairman Mao's son because he had no military training. He was there just for propaganda reasons and built a career so he would become the next chairman Mao. So Chairman Mao's son died in the Korean War uh, because he was cooking rice, I guess. He said she would be fine in training on what not to say to piss off an audience. Uh, has anyone ever spoken Chinese? I can't recall if it does or not, or if it's a barrier for Billy Billy. Language is not a barrier, especially with English. China has much better English education compared to its neighbor Japan. There are other English Japanese speaking VTubers there. She's not Vox. I don't think she's going to do much traction on Billy Billy. They're so cooked. There isn't a requirement on Billy Billy that a real name must be revealed. If they're above 100, 500k, contest the number of followers. Entertainment content creators aren't affected by the new policy. Oh, so it's only personal content creators? According to Billy Billy, the new policy will be enforced through different batches. First batch will be content creators with over 1 million followers on Billy Billy. They have to have over 1 million followers on Billy Billy. Can't confirm since I only heard around Reddit. Uh, eventually, they're going to pop it down to 500k. So that's one of the things that's going to happen. Here's a little thing that people have put here. Don't leave me here with them. She's leaving Hololive, uh, I mean, Nidhi Sanji, going to uh, China, and she's going there again eventually. This is her Illyra Pandora one, where people didn't really respond too much. Uh, it looks like they got some kind of views, like 3.4k views, but it didn't get a lot. She thinks she got the whole CN Fujoshi fandom behind her like Vox do. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Yeah, it's not the best move that she's going to make, but it's a move that I guess she feels she has to make. Almost five hours with only 16k views. Ilair's viewership really took a, a dive. I'm not sure if it was views. Oh, views. Holy crap. This is really bad. Um, for her to only have 16K views after five hours of streaming and then five hours of it not, you know, being that, like it actually just being there as a VOD. That's pretty freaking bad. Because that's a stream 10 hours ago, which means if it was a five hour stream, there was five hours between when uh, the stream ended and this was taken. So compared to other things, I guess it's normal for Elira because the one nine days ago was only 80k. It was AR live chat. So for that long, and then, you know, other ones were, were 75k views from two months ago. So it's still bad for someone like Elira, who seems to push herself really high up on the uh, on her pedestal. But it seems to be normal just based on the other contextual clues we have down there of 75k, 80k. The message from Nidhi Sanjian got 1.3 million because also the haters were looking at the stuff from Nidhi, from the, the black stream. Yeah, other ones, 66k from two months ago. So it's bad. It looks really bad for um for anybody in Nidhi Sanjian, especially someone that is supposed to be so, you know, popular like Lyra. But looking at just contextual clues, it looks like it might just be normal for her. Just a normal day for her how it should be lesser metric speaks bigger volumes than going to her streams and harassing and bothering her views are down subscribers are down ccv are down it's the best way of expressing disappointment exactly don't go and actually harass them don't go and do like argentinian uh super chats or anything like that uh to try to troll people um you know don't do that because you're still giving them money even if it's pennies on the dollar you're still giving them money that's not what anyone who wants them to change wants. That's not what's going to get them to change. It's going to get them to dig down deeper and dig their hole deeper and be like, nope, nope, dig their heels in. Like, I'm not changing. Look at all these all these people. They're, they're you know, abusing me. They're doing this. They're doing that. Look at all that. At least the video has 1.3 million views. How bitter must be because of the top achievement of your career and it's a collab. 
average CCV with 1100 peak and 1300 on stream for anyone interested. That's like three to four finanas. Uh, that was Anna's rating the waiting room as well. I dare say the reason why she got so many views for the return is people were curious if she would address the situation. Seeing that she didn't, it continued as if it didn't happen. Well, that explains the drop. Smash that like button, unlike the black screen video. A glaring difference from her return stream, Niji's cooked. Uh, the return stream is filled with people seeing that actually make the statement about current situation. She didn't, of course. How can you say that? 1.3 million videos. Crazy. As I said before, she have no way to either that disaster or of a public image. Her only move is to suck it up and keep what little is left. Um, I don't think making her feel trapped should be a goal for the subreddit. Uh, explaining yourself without, would not undo the damage, but it would be a good start, of course. Leaving Niji will just make her lose Niji's fans, and then, you know, she'll probably just not be able to get very much in the, uh, the in indie scene. Her any further PR stunt will backfire. Some people saying karma. Ironically, I smashed the dislike button. Ironically, I didn't open the video. Uh, I wonder how many finanas she will peek at. Will she become a new unit measurement for viewership? Only time will tell. She got all the views she needed two streams prior. And yeah, it's just, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for her. It's absolutely going to be bad. It's, she'd made that black video, the black screen video. And she's going to get S for it. She's going to get hurt by it. And it's not going to go away. Because people are not going to forget it. Because it's still on her channel. She kept it on her channel. So people aren't going to forget it. Since we recently got the Michi lore video. The Michi Mochi V. Uh, which is Mika Melatika in new form. Uh, and she had the nail thing. I think an Asian Wikipedia Twitter account posted the nail. I'm not sure if they posted it on purpose. Or if it was just coincidence. But here's what it says. The translation. In construction, a nail is a small object generally made of metal and used to fasten tie objects, hang things in decoration. In general, nails are pointed sharp tip and are flat in the head. However, it's possible that there are nails that do not have heads. Nails are usually driven into an object using a hammer. Sometimes the tip of the nail head is bent after it's driven in, but the nail does not come off easily. Mika, of course, was depicted in a nail on her head and her fans called her Paco Champs. The same Twitter account made the post about the black companies, a negligible reference, and a picture about tomatoes back in the early February. But those tweets have since been taken down. So this one is a bit of a meme lord. The uh, this, this specific Twitter account, the Indonesian Wikipedia, they are uh, Wikipedia in Indonesia, is being a bit of a troll. It's being a bit of a, a meme lord. Indonesian folklore, if you drive a nail into Kwitinilak's head, she would turn into a beautiful woman that you could marry. I'm trying real hard not to make a joke involving Kudo, Michi, Nail, and there's best attempt. A little bit of source material for, for the Garnish, which is basically the Indonesian wiki one, and uh, the other things that they have done. Pretty, previous Wikipedia articles, um, let's see if they, they show up. You have this one right here, which is the one with the nail. You have this one, which was the, the dark company, the black company. You have this one over here, which was, again, I think the black company. Um, and, you know, negligible losses. Uh, again, much larger with the negligible losses in the black company with Niji Sanji up in there in the top right. And and um, that is where it leads us to now. Based, and after they so put the post in an article on nepotism, they really know what they're doing. Paco means nail. Uh, you know, I was Paco champ for years and everyone's questioned what it meant. So, yeah. They're, they're being a little bit of meme lords, which is fun. It's always fun when they give me meme lords like this. We have Virtual Rhapsody, uh, Singapore, is now easing meet and greet ticket restrictions, now allowing for two tickets for each live room. Exciting announcement, second round of meet and greet ticket sales. Due to recent adjustments in the meet and greet schedule, we have successfully advocated for an opportunity to purchase additional meet and greet tickets. Second round of meet and greet tickets are just around the corner. All eight livers have little amount of meet and greet tickets left. So they're trying to, to create some, um, some scarcity. For people to be like, oh my god, I'm going to miss it. And then they try to buy it. So they're trying to do. In this second round, we are easing the purchase restrictions. Now, regardless of whether you have purchased Act 1 or Act 2 offline tickets, each person can buy a maximum of two meet and greet tickets for one liver. For those who have purchased more meet and greet tickets in the first round, the extra ticket is already refunded and eased to make it sure it is fair for everyone. You can get back to ticket the second round if you want. So yeah, they're, they're trying to make it so that there's uh, artificial scarcity and that people, if they want both Act 1 and Act 2, they can do it because... You only do that when um, you're not actually selling. Because if you have limited time, then you're not going to try to keep selling, 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 selling. Previously, the Act 2 meet and greet tickets for Shu, Luka, Uki, and, and uh, Sunny sold out fairly quickly, while tickets for Lyra, Finana, and then Millie for the second event itself were still available. Anytime restrictions are adjusted, it means sales aren't as high as they thought it would be. Restrictions happen in the first place because otherwise they couldn't fit their sheer demand, and they are a very thin line. They're basically just a phase of gauging the current market due to massive change in the size of the audience. A bit confused about the reaction, the restriction. Uh, what would someone gain from buying the same ticket for the same library again? Scalpers, in case of high demand, 
like PS5 a few years ago. They had to buy the same thing in large quantities, hoping to resell for higher profits. Restrictions often put in place to combat this. I find it personally gratifying how much worse it is for needy selling. Truly negligible. Is, is it normal for an event to have this many adjustments? It feels like every three days they're changing something. The events in my place change restrictions pretty often during the weeks leading up to the event due to the amount of event goers and featured guests, plus whatever happens in the moment. So it can happen. It can be something normal, but um, I still think it's it's because they haven't sold as much as they wanted to. I need some more context on the banning because of blank things. Was there a threat? We're going to show up and prop blank and actually real, real blank. Nope, I don't think so. Uh, there was an active blank group around the same time an event in another region. Government was being careful. They wanted to eliminate the possibility of sh of the blanks in the events. So they banned the, the the props from the events to get rid of that. So you buy two tickets for the same library. Does this extend the time you're talking to them or do you get a second meeting? It's, it's a second meeting. It's basically two tickets. But it's closer to the actual date. It might actually become free. They're so generous with the sales plan. Tickets are not sold out already. Pretending to be surprised, of course. Not surprised. No one is surprised that those tickets don't sell. Because right now, Nidhi Sanji, Ian especially, is very toxic. A little bit of, of a funny, of a meme here. It's talking about uh, Vox's new look. Um, when you take a look at what he actually looks like, his new look kind of reminds you of this. And let's show you the new look. This is his new look. This is the new look that they're making fun of here with the Brack Show. And it is kind of funny. And it is kind of, you know, it makes sense for it to be like his new look. Um, here you have the very scruffy, almost looks like it was painted on with a Sharpie type of beard. Um, and then he has, you know, his huge arms and the chest. It looks like he hasn't bathed in weeks. Um, the person who did this normally did a really good job. Usually does a really good job in their stuff. My guess is that they were rushed and they were made to do drawings in a style that they are not used to. They don't like, and it's something that they don't have any comfort level in and they don't have any, um, any actual experience in. So that's what it looks like. It looks really bad. The small head to the huge neck is really bad as well. The actual look of the body is a little, you know, it's proportional to the neck, but it's not proportional to the face, you know, and it kind of gives you this whole Brack look, for my opinion. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.